Hey y'all, so this is Autumn again, and uh, welcome to Pretty Girl Chronicles, formerly known as, actually, welcome to Pretty Girl Politics, formerly known as Pretty Girl Chronicles. And um, I'm doing another video without my co-host. I'm in my hometown. And so, um, something I wanna talk about is, and I'm a little late on this, but it's still fresh, Aisha Curry and her recent cry for help or what they would say her recent cry for attention. Now, a lot of people are saying she needs to have several seats. She's being disrespectful to her husband, you know, um, Stephen Curry or whatever, but uh, y'all know who he is, the basketball player. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna keep it real. They've been married for a while now. Actually, they've been in a relationship for a while now, even before they got married. They've known each other since, I think they were high school sweethearts or whatever, correct me if I'm wrong. So they've known each other for quite some time. And I think what's going on in her situation is that she's not getting the attention that she probably should be getting from her husband and it's starting to get to her, you know? And so, um, I think that's really more what that's about. I don't really think she cared that much about if, you know, other men, strange men are, you know, hitting on her or whatever, but we're going to ignore the fact that she said, you know, she's jealous that her husband gets hit on a lot by a bunch of groupies and she wished that, you know, strangers would tell her she's attractive or flirt with her sometime because at the end of the day no matter what she's looking for validation that she is still attractive because she is a wife she is a mother and when if you've been in a long-term relationship partnership or marriage you still need to hear from someone no matter who it is that you are attractive I think even if women told her girl you're beautiful girl you're gorgeous you know you got it going on stuff like that I think she would be happy I think she would find that sufficient I just think what she said came off wrong um, regardless of how it sounds so I'm not gonna judge her on that though it did sound you know, like I understand that some people would sound immature that she was wanting to seek validation outside of her marriage, but I, I really think it goes way beyond that. I really think she just wants to feel validated, period, no matter who's telling her this. You know what I'm saying? So I think Stephen Curry could do himself a favor and do her a favor by just randomly telling her that he finds her attractive, send her messages, all the time, flirt. And I think that'll do, I think that'll do some good for her. You know what I'm saying? I really don't think it's from strangers that she really needs to hear it from. But if she does, um, I think she's gonna see that it really isn't gonna make a difference. Inside, she needs to feel attractive on her own. But more than anything, it's just, I think it would be nice if she heard more from her husband. Uh, to me, it's just a telltale sign she hasn't been hearing much from her husband. They look like they have the perfect marriage, but in all actual, you know, reality, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors with them. You know, he has a high profile career. He's probably busy all the time, traveling, playing ball, things like that doing commercials, endorsement deals, whatever, you know, working on a shoe line or something, whatever. And then she's busy doing her thing with her YouTube channel and, and all her endorsement deals or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think they even really see each other as much as they probably should or need to. I don't think they really get the time to show each other the kind of tension that they need to show each other. And I think that's just where it's coming from. So but only someone who has been there and done that, I think could understand that or recognize that. Um, you know, I know what that feels like. Honestly, I know what that feels like um, to be with someone for a long period of time, long-term relationship, both long-term relationship and marriage. 
you know I've been there before with that and feeling like it would be nice to hear or know that you are in fact still attracted to other people because when you are a mother and a wife or you've been with someone for a really long time um, things can change that person that you're with may show you less attention if you're a mom or something you're probably going you know you probably gained some weight or something and that could have you feeling unattractive and let's be honest here um, Aisha Curry has gained some weight um, and I think it's due to motherhood but it's also due to the fact that she probably been enjoying a lot of that cooking she's been doing in her own kitchen on her YouTube channel and I think that's getting to her you know what I'm saying and I know what that feels like you know what I'm saying so like um sometimes hearing from someone you know especially someone that who does not know you because this is the other thing to think about you can't expect your partner to tell you they think you're attractive they love you stuff like that because they know it's what you want to hear they know it's the right thing to say and they may very well mean it but I think she's coming from also from the perspective that if you hear from a complete stranger who they don't really owe it to you to tell you this they don't have to tell you this because they don't live with you they don't have to do with you later on if you you know you're having mood swings at home or something like that they you know they may not ever see you again so if a stranger tells you you know what you're beautiful just randomly tells you that or something you're trapped or sexy whatever it is it kind of holds a little extra weight just because it's random and two this person doesn't know you they don't owe you anything you know a husband or wife kind of feels that pressure especially a husband feels that kind of pressure to tell his wife that he thinks she's beautiful and this and that other regardless if she gains weight or lose weight or if she gets older have children whatever you know what I'm saying so you know it, it's just coming from that perspective understanding that in itself but know this you guys you got to have self-love and self-acceptance first before anybody else can supposedly validate you and tell you yeah you're attractive because I know some friends that they're very attractive but let them tell it they will find every flaw about themselves under the sun and they will tell you but no this and that's wrong with me and they'll act like they think they're unattractive and you look at them and be like what the hell are you talking about of course you're attractive like duh anybody could see it but they don't they don't see it because they don't feel it within so it, it starts within regardless of what the situation is regardless if you've been in a long-term relationship or marriage with somebody telling you uh you know um you're attractive or failing to tell you that you're attractive you know and feeling like they take up you for granted you have to love yourself no matter what and know you're attractive i'm not vain i'm not arrogant but i know i'm attractive i don't need anybody to tell me that i'm attractive because i know wholeheartedly that i am um you'd be hard pressed to tell me that i'm ugly and i actually believe it if you tell me that I'm not attractive or try to insinuate that I'm not, I'm going to think you're crazy, okay? And it's not coming from a shallow place. Uh, if I cut all my hair off, I still going to think I'm attractive. If I'm not wearing this makeup, I'm still going to think I'm attractive because from, for me, it comes from an inside place of self-love and self-acceptance in knowing that I know I'm attractive and I'm attractive in a lot of different ways, inside, outside personality um you know my my heart because i'm a very giving kind person and just you know like i yeah, even on the outside like i said it don't matter if i'm gaining weight because i have gained weight over the years you know what i'm saying because i'm a mother and but you know I'm a, I don't know, maybe I'm a different breed of a person. You got some people, they know they're attractive. You got some people, they don't know they're attractive. And you could give them every compliment under the sun. It won't make a difference to them because they don't love themselves on the inside. 
you know what I'm saying? So that's something to kind of take into account and for people to really think about. And I hope Aisha Curry, if she ever sees this, she thinks about that. Work on loving yourself and appreciating yourself and knowing that you're beautiful inside out and you won't need anybody else to validate that for you. All right, so that's um, that's all I have to say about that, you know, because I've heard a lot of people say some pretty harsh stuff um, about her making those comments and stuff like that. And um, I'm just giving my side or piece of what um, I think is really going on and, you know, shedding some light on that. So, peace.